What's going on Far Cry fans? Alex here and today I am presenting my next Far Cry 3 project everybody. Welcome to World War 3 Part 1 Episode 1 of this map editor uh, experiments shall we add. And here we go guys. Um, the only reason why I'm doing World War 3 is because um, I feel like it's a very interesting subject. It's a very interesting thing to cover. And uh, nonetheless I'm going to get started right now. The Maddox Town Village Native Temple. Okay. Um... For those of you out there who don't know, um, a lot of people often want to say that uh, war, especially the third one, the third world war is never going to happen. Um, you know, I, we none of us like war. You know, there, there's a lot of people out there who don't approve of war, and I'm certainly one of them. Um, I don't like war. I think war is very uh, senseless and useless, but um, I feel like the next big world war is going to occur. And, um, unfortunately enough, it's not really up to any of us. Um, it's just, I feel like it's bound to happen, honestly. Um, as, as much as, uh, I, I wouldn't want it to be, I feel like one day that's going to happen. And when it does happen, it's going to be the most unrelentless, just most unforgetting, grueling thing in the world. So, right now I'm trying to recreate what exactly would happen. So, here we go. Um, definitely add some air vehicles going down here, some choppers going down, some broken planes. Uh, pretty much, guys, I'm going to try to make this a uh, team deathmatch based game. And uh, let me see something here. Let me start tilting this plane a little bit. Like that. Well, I don't want to make it too much in there. So, all right, cool. Uh, pretty much, guys, it's it's just, um, it's scary. It really is. It's, it's scary to see how this world can play off sometimes. Um, we just saw recently the death of 27 people, uh, it, it, 20 of them being children, and it's the most vile thing, you know, th this world, everybody, is just, it, it's, it's thriving on violence, it's just um, a very dangerous place to be, and a lot of people often say, oh, well, it's just the, the nature of man, you know, and in fact that it's really not, it's the most terrible thing, and I feel like what's I feel like with all the things that are happening in uh, Libya, Syria, Egypt, um, it's a precursor. I think it really is. I think it's a precursor, and I feel like um, I feel like something's gonna happen. I feel like something big is gonna happen. Um, I, I hope not. I hope that I am dead wrong on my uh, on my opinion. But um, with the way things are going in this world, everybody, I doubt that. You know, we're not going to go into another war because I feel like we will. Um, and I think it's going to be with either Iran or just an enemy like that because it's just... I know it might seem cliche, but look what's going on, guys. You got, you know, countries making threats with one another. You got you got so much, so many bad things happening in this world that, you know, the Americans, they owe the Chinese a lot of money. And, you know, uh, Russia is having their problems and just overall, you know, just it's so many things. Iran's having problems with Israel, and Israel wants to attack Iran. It's just, it's just bad. But um, let me know in the comment section below, guys, and your thoughts and opinions on all of this, on current events at least. Uh, do you guys feel like with, with with what's going on? Do you think it's right? Um, just so much. But right now, I'm gonna try to see if I can make this a. Uh, a really badass map. I'm trying to. Um, I I feel like war isn't really badass. It's more of a, uh, it's more of a uh, a curse, sort of say. But nonetheless, right now I'm gonna try to recreate a map which is gonna have some epic stuff. And uh, pretty much what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to make it so um, people can hide and just do their own thing. Uh, it's gonna take me a little while. Don't get me wrong, but um, just bear with me on this, and you guys are gonna see. All right, let me see. Uh, where is the uh, the hotel actually? Where is it? There it is. The hotel. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this like right here. I'm gonna add that, and then on top I'm gonna put this right over here. All right, this is good right over here. All right, let me see. Alright, this looks like a giant hotel building. Okay, okay, pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> okay, where am I going to put this bitch? I'm going to put her like right over, let me see. 
I'm gonna put this one like this right over here so I can make it look like everybody can go around this corner. It should be pretty good, it's a good idea. But uh like like I said guys, it's just it's bad and I think it's getting worse. Um I mean nobody like I said, nobody likes to see war. Nobody likes to experience war. And uh, I feel I feel I truly feel bad for all of those out there who have to serve sometimes because <clears throat> it's it's like they're putting their lives at risk, you know, for the sake of, you know, their people and their country. Meanwhile, you know, there's so many people in this country that don't deserve to have their rights protected. Like, for example, that guy who killed all those kids at the school. You know what I mean? That was just, that was horrible. That was just morbid. It, it, it was possibly the worst thing, one of the worst things in this country's history. You know what I mean? So, for, uh... For somebody like that to have their rights protected, I feel like it's wrong. But, you know, it's you fight for the children, you fight for your family. But nonetheless, if, if a third world war breaks out, which I hope not, um, honestly, it will be the end for all of us, I believe. Because um, it, it's just, you think of World War Three, and then you think of all the fucking crazy technology that we got to, to like, wipe each other off the face of the fucking earth. It's just, it's really fucking scary, guys. Like, we have, we ha we probably have stuff that, you know, the general population has never heard of. You know what I mean? It, it's just so bad, but <clears throat> nonetheless, what can you do about it? I mean, you can't really rise up and say, no, we refuse to be in it, because then they'll really fuck you up, so. Where the freaking hell are the sandbags? I want a sandbag. I want a sandbag. Let me see. Decorations. If I don't find this thing, I'm going to be really, really mad. Let me see. Fire camps, household pipes, coys, road signs, tents, towers. Let's see these towers real quick. Let me see what they got to offer. Can I go up here? Eh, not really. Alright, so this looks like an outpost, but pretty much. Let me see what's this. Tower number five. Wait, can I go up here? Yes, I can. All right, awesome. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to have like a few stations and whatnot. I'm going to make this like a really fucked up ass place. I'm just trying to see how exactly I'm going to do it. All right, let me see. Is this good? Is this good? Well, I don't want to put this right here, but it seems okay. Yeah, like right over here, like you know, you won't expect it. Like you'll be like, well, let me back this up, back, back, back it up. Hey, well, let me test this out real quick. <clears throat> I still gotta add a lot to this map, though. I'm not gonna lie, though. I still have to add a lot. All right, this this thing's pretty good. Maybe I'll have something for somebody to climb on up here, and then you can get up here. Oh, ne never mind. Look at that. You can get up here. Go over here real quick if the enemy comes in. Shoot the enemy! That looks pretty cool. It's like a bunch of tanks and shit. They're outside. I, that's why I want sandbags. I want to cover these up with sandbags, but... I'm trying to fucking find out where they at. Alright, let me see. Where are you at, sandbag? Hmm? Miscellaneous. It can't be miscellaneous. I doubt it. Um, Let me see. Can't be decals either, can it? Oh, what's this? What is this graffiti? Ah, oh, it's a pretty cool. It's a wall graffiti. Let me see if I let me see how this would look on the wall actually. How would this look on the wall? It looks pretty. It looks all right. Ask the motherfucking graffiti and shit now, nah, man. You walking by and shit, you see some graffiti. Graffiti, <laughs> some motherfucking graffiti. You know, th this really isn't important to the map, but I'm just feel like you know, just the more detail, the better, I guess. All right, let me see. Let me see. Push me away. Okay, there we go. Looks all right. I just need to find sandbags right now. Where the fucking hell are the sandbags? It can't be accessories. I just checked. All right, it's not there. Um, crates, let me see, no, breeze, what's this, bag pile, never mind, I think this is it, I think this is it, well I doubt it, but you know, 
Let me, let, let me the, just uh, push uh, this uh, and put it right here. Fuck, I think I moved it by accident. Shit, shit. No, no, no. This map, guys, is going to take me a little while, don't get me wrong. Because I really want to make sure that it's good. I want to make sure it's that it's it's actually perfected. You know, I want to make sure it's fucking perfected and shit, know what I mean? That way, when I do play with you guys, you guys will have a fucking experience that you'll never forget. But, um, I also need to make craters and what- Yeah, I have my work cut out for me for this one. I have my work cut out for me. The reason why I wanted to make this, honestly, is because one day I was just reading the paper at my job. Because I can't fucking access internet or anything like that. It's fucking- it, it, It's like- It's like the medieval times at my job. It's like the worst. But, um, pretty much I was just reading the paper and then I was reading about how North Korea is threatening- the United States again, and this time they just launched a satellite in space that pretty much just shoots. It, this this satellite shoots nukes from space, believe it or not. And um, you know, the United States is kind of pissed off that they didn't want to, you know, just call off their little satellite launch and whatnot. So, I mean, there's so much. It, it goes much deeper than that, especially with like the whole beef with Iran. And just so much happening is just crazy. You don't even know what to do anymore. It's just you're, you're at a loss. Ah, fuck you, tank! Bash on up, ass! All right. I I, I don't know. It's just, it, I'm telling you right now, war war sounds scary, but um, World War Three sounds horrifying. I mean, it's just it's bad. I'm telling you guys, I, I was actually, I'm not going to lie to you, I was actually going to um, enlist in the armed forces a few years ago, but then when I really thought about it, I was like, you know what, I'm going to be trained to kill people, you know, I'm going to be trained to take another person's life, and for what, you know, that person never did anything wrong to me, so why should I go out there and kill somebody who never wronged me in any, in, 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 in any way, and uh, I, I don't know guys, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I go by the Bible a lot in terms of how to conduct myself as a person and in terms of belief. Um, I believe that you you do reap what you sow. And um, being a good person in life is always the best thing. Um, certainly it might have its uh, ups and downs, but doesn't everything have ups and downs in life? So I feel like by being a good person and doing good for others, it's always going to reap its, uh, its rewards and whatnot. So... At least just that, that's my thoughts, so. Um, right now, what I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, oh, there we go, I'm gonna ask some bodies. Definitely ask some bodies up in this mug, where them corpses at, there we go, the corpses. Alright, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna ask some dead bodies over here. Like, one right here. Another guy, like, laid out, like, right over here by the gate, like, looking like he's about to, like, just run out or something. This guy just got molested, so I'm gonna make him just, like, all butted up, like, right here. And lastly, I'm gonna add some, uh, where's that, where's that, where's that, some decals. Add some blood stains and whatnot, make it seem realistic. Make it seem realistic. Oh, this guy looks like he's been blasted. Alright. Add some blood over here. There we go. And add some blood over here. Oh, let me see something. Yeah, this guy looks like he's just been, like, dragged or something. Right, these tanks blew them up and then basically when you get in here I'm gonna try to set this up in here a certain way as well I'm not even close to being done guys like I'm not even this is gonna take some fucking time I'll tell you that much ooh maybe I'll add a pl oh I know exactly what I'm gonna do guys watch this I'm gonna turn this plane like that and bring it out and I'm gonna make it seem like this plane just crashed in there let me see something Fuck, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. Alright, so turn that way and make sure that I... Eh. I'll figure it out, I guess, eventually. Oh, there we go, like something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, plane crash, baby. Alright, everybody, that does it for today. I'm Unreal Entertainment Gaming, signing off. Stay tuned for part two, episode two of my World War III uh, map editor walkthrough or playthrough sort of say or or in the making whatever you guys want to call it um if you guys are far cry fans don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest far cry news information updates um if you guys are far cry fans please don't forget to leave a like 
uh, rape that thumbs up button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will be seeing each and every one of you guys as the day is come by. All right, everybody. Take care, everybody. Peace. God bless.